Welcome to another video from Guelo 60. I'm back on Hoji Lu. And get your mind out of the gutter. This one isn't about girls. This one's about food. We're going out. I'm, go I'm, I'm looking for my wife. We're going out to a little restaurant around the corner uh, because we saw that it was full and there was people lined up last night at this place. So we thought, what do they know that we don't know? And I'm hungry. And there she is. I, I found her. That was, it was, she found me. So we're off to this. I don't know. I think it's a hot pot place. But it's either got really good food or it's really cheap. One or the other. We'll just have to wait and find out and see what's going on. We, we get here early. It's only quarter after six. And in China, that's early for, for eating out. And there's already a waiting list. So we've got to sit outside and wait. So obviously, uh, I think we're in for a treat. We're gonna have to wait and see, but uh, I've got a good feeling about this one. It costs anywhere from 30 to 60 RMB for the original hot pot, and then you order what you want. Here we found. Let me let me take a close up of that uh, the menu. For all of you English-speaking people out there, that probably means absolutely nothing to you. But uh, being a fluent reader, uh, my wife can 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 translate it for me. So uh, yeah, so we're in for a hot pot tonight. As we walk into this place, the smell is amazing. Hey, okay? it smells good, eh? When in China, do you like the Chinese? <laughs> so the first thing they do is they bring us out a big pail of rice, as you as you can see, and uh, chicken and onion and spices in a hot plate, which is looks, looks, looks pretty looks pretty good. Celery, onions, chicken, chopped up Chinese style, as you can see, looks pretty good. <laughs> But we won't know until you chow down. With the hot sauce dip, of course. Hot sauce dip. So, who said retiring into China was a stupid idea? <laughs> this is, oh, and that's another thing. Chinese people feed the camera before they feed themselves. See? <laughs> Chicken spice. It tastes like Hangzhou. Hangzhou and chicken. Oh yeah, this is good. Isn't it? It's spicy, eh? It's got some heat to it. <laughs> So what they brought us so far is, uh, what is that? Fugua. 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 Oh yeah, okay. Fugua. Okay. The lettuce and this is some up. Fun. Fun. Is the rice good way? No. Fun food. Yam. Yam noodle. Okay. And tofu and mushrooms. Is this beef or, or beef and hot sauce? You ordered more than this, right? So the first part of this meal is, is eating the chicken. And when you're down to what's left of the chicken, it's got this hot spice and the renderings of the chicken. And that's what you do the hot pot in. Cool. Oh, yeah. Chicken beef. Chicken beef. There's nothing wrong with chicken beef.
I gotta yell because it's pretty loud in here. <laughs> now we're to the second stage where we put the water in, and you can see oily from the chicken. When it starts boiling, then we start putting in the stuff, and then it's a hot, spicy broth that cuts your, your, your meat and your veggies in. Oh, this is good. I'm already starting to sweat. I'm drinking tea. Grand tea. What's it like to be Guilong 60 living in Nanning, China, where you can go and eat like this is, uh, I don't know how much this is going to cost, but it's going to be under 20 bucks for the two of us. Like 10 bucks each, it's like, it's nothing. In Canadian standards, it's like going and getting McDonald's burgers. But you get the whole meal deal for like 10 bucks each. Not even, eh? We'll keep you tuned. At the end, we'll tell you how much this costs. As I was saying in my last breakfast video, uh, you can bring your own alcohol to the restaurant. I'm sure they sell beer and stuff here, but they don't expect you to, to drink their beer if you don't want to. You can bring whatever you want to drink. That's one of the neat things about, about China. I think that's in France too, where uh, you can bring your own wine. We'll do that next time. We'll bring a bottle of wine and see how they do. Okay? So, so we're back into this now. And, uh, hot pot, eh? So, yeah. Go <laughs> over the meat first. Mm. Yeah. The hot spices from the chicken before make this amazing. Oh, it looks so good. You gotta watch out not to burn your face. Oh. Let's check these mushrooms out. I forgot about the discs. We're paying, we're paying for it. So we might as well use it. Who we have for the dip? So it's got to be good. Yeah. That makes the back of your head sweat. This video wasn't going to be about Guangxi girls. <laughs> move in right in front of the camera. There's nothing I could have done about it. It's not me. I'm not guilty. Uncle Guilao didn't do this himself. <laughs> See, there is a god. And he lives in Nanning, China. You'll notice that it's very loud in here. And this is common in a lot of Chinese restaurants. Not all of them, but the more alcohol they sell, the louder it gets. And, uh, I guess they're selling a lot of alcohol in here tonight. Plus, it's close to the university, so you got a younger crowd. It's, uh, I think it's more fun this way. Myself. This is this dip is hot, hot, spicy. Burn your lips. I can't feel my lips. To get stuff like. A little dip. Amazing. This is so good. This is like a five minute walk from my back door. Life is good, guys. No, this channel's not going to get into a, a food channel because I'm not a foodie. But we are going to have a you know, video like this because, oh my God, why not show you the good life? One of, one of the things you'll quickly notice in China is that it's not just a meal, but it's, but it's experience too. The, the, 
the noise, the people, the food, the way that it's prepared, the way that you eat it, the just the, just the atmosphere of the restaurant that you eat in. It's a it's a special it's a it's a special occasion as far as art. It's it's I don't know what it is, but I sure as hell love it. Hey Vaughn, would you come back here for supper again? Yeah. Why? Because you're with Leila and Sexy or because the food's good? Uh, so it's got nothing to do with me. I love it. Okay, because I'm paying for supper. No, I pay for it. You're going to pay for it? Uh, see? Could life get any better, guys? Ow! Brandy, good food, good company. Bye, Joe. Bye, Joe. She's she's a sub. She's worse than I am. She's, she was out. Come back. Anyway, that's another video from Gray Lao Safety. If you like this video, as always, like, comment, subscribe, push that share button, and don't forget to hit that little bell so you'll be notified of all my new videos that have come out. Until next time, bye now. So as we leave the restaurant, you can see how many people are sitting here waiting, waiting for their chance to eat like Gray Lao 68. And after it was all said and done, Wei Fong paid the bill because if she didn't, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be nice to. No, she paid the bill because she's got WeChat and I don't. Anyway, 80 RMB for the for for a night in this restaurant. 80 RMB. That's like that's like 16 dollars. That's like eight bucks each. Like seriously. I'm uh, I'm dumbfounded at the price of of living in in a place like Nanning.